Hey guys, and welcome to What's Up Jude. Welcome to this new episode of What's Up Jude. Hi guys. Hello. So today's topic, as you could see on the title, is about anxiety and social pressure. And uh, it was really important to us to talk about this subject because it seems like more and more people are kind of victims of these pressures. So let's go and go talk about anxiety. So what is anxiety? I think like everyone has, has its different definition of it, but um, let's just say it is a feeling of worry and nervousness and unease about something that you, with a certain outcome, with an uncertain outcome, sorry. So anyway, before discussing it, <laughs> let me introduce our guest. And it is Loiva, yay! <laughs> so, um, she's our friend and she's going to talk about her experiences with anxiety and thanks to her um, for being here. And I know it, it's, not a, it's not an easy subject, so please support her. Go <laughs> Can you tell us about your life? Uh, some facts about you and your hobbies and anything else that's your moment <laughs> uh, so first uh, I wanted to thank you too for inviting me as your first guest in mm -hmm. your podcast uh, it's an honor really and uh, I'm so I, I wanted to say that I'm a law student in second year uh, in the same university as you and I, I quite enjoy my studies uh, but I Um, except from the anxiety part that mm. we would just talk about uh, like after. Um, and I like spending time also in nature and uh, with myself, my friends or my family. And uh, I like also to discover new places, uh, traveling. And, um, and I'm also quite an introvert. So it is a big step for you to talk about yeah. what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I'm really happy that you are here for uh, yeah. as a, mm -hmm. our first guest mm -hmm. um first uh what is girls what is your relation with anxiety and social pressure do you experience it every day or just it is just like period you know um i'm going to answer first if you don't mind loiva so um I think everyone has dealt with social pressure mm -hmm. or anxiety, even if you don't really feel the symptoms. Um, personally, I would say, yes, I did experience anxiety. And I feel like society is expecting you to be more and more, um, you know, perfect. And especially at a young age. And I am a person that like everything to be per perfect. So I'm constantly putting this double pressure on me, the society one plus the one that I'm creating you know yes and I think it, you need to let go of these things because it's not going to lead you lead you anywhere so yeah and uh, especially for example people some people can experience panic attacks so yeah. have you ever experienced panic attacks uh, I'm gonna answer first maybe um <laughs> I Uh, in my case, panic attacks are not the, the, the most frequent thing I experience uh, when uh, talking about anxiety. It's more, um, um, I, when I experience anxiety, it's more um, like a constant thing. Uh, mm. in, uh, sometimes it's higher than others, but, yeah. um, but it's not really a panic attack. And, uh, and uh, I would better describe it as something more constant. Uh, as if I was uh, panicked all the time. Um, what about you, Leslie? Um, well, for me, uh, I did experience some panic attacks. Uh, and the last one was uh, during the first day of back to school this year. So it was a really like um, special context because we, like, we all know what happened in 2020. Uh, so it was, it was a really hard year for everyone. And um, because of the first lockdown, uh, like my mental health has been impacted before. Like, I just didn't know it, didn't notice it before mm -hmm. this day. Uh, because um, like we were just 
with ourselves and with our families. So um, I developed like some social issues um, and I didn't really know how to just like be with them, with someone, sorry, um, how to make new friends and how to connect with people. Again, yeah. Yeah, the problem mm -hmm. of relationship. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so yes, I, as I said, I just used to be with myself and my family for almost two months and a half. And now like I needed to be social sociable again. Um, so the first day of back to school, uh, even if I worked during summer, it was not the same because I was in college and, you know, I saw a lot of people uh, in a little amount of time. So my brain uh, was just... Uh, Couldn't process it right away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just feel like my um, heart was beating extremely fast. I feel like uh, I didn't belong here and I just want to run away from this place. But I couldn't, obviously. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I just had to sit down on the stairs a few for a few minutes. And, you know, I think... I was really stressed because I need to learn to to be with people again uh, and not just realize. my family. Yes, not just my family. So, you know, I just feel again this uh, social pressure about um, you in, a, how can I say that, you know, with a, a society place like public places like you being in a public space and yes. being stressed over it but not, yes but you can't do anything about it because you have to be in this public place yes exactly so that's it and i would uh, maybe loiva can you talk about more your constant state like you told us that you didn't you didn't really feel panic attacks but you feel stressed more like every day like um yeah it just it's just like um For you, Loeva, it's it's more like a feeling, like a, a yeah. daily feeling. A like daily a, feeling, exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, more than an event. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> so, uh, are, are there any factors that imply, that amplify this anxiety? Yeah, maybe. I don't know if you want. Loeva, if you want. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I would say it's cool. Uh, maybe yeah. um, that's one of the most important sources of anxiety, I, I guess, um, because it it requires a, a lot us uh, to do uh, a, a lot of things to be at the highest level of productivity, yeah. concentrations, energy, and uh, it leaves no real place for really listening to you, to uh, your body's emotions, minds, and um, and yeah, um, I think. It's important to remember that um, if you have um, something like anxiety, but um, really, really regularly, uh, you you must always prioritize your health um, mm -hmm. and not uh, school or or grades or any anything like that. Like you have to take a break when you need when you need it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, mean, I say that, but it's really hard for me also. So I know <laughs> because um, it is complicated for everyone. You wanna you wanna study, but you also want to take a break. But you have to do you have to take decisions. Yeah, and the balance is really hard. It's yeah, it's really hard. Like sometimes you you're like, oh, maybe I can do that, but if I don't do this, uh, it's gonna have an impact for the future. So, but I think you really need to to take a step back and really focus on yourself sometimes, especially during this vacation. Um, that is that is Christmas, you know. It is a time to spend with your family, not constantly, um, not speak, but like think about school. Mm. You need to really yeah. relax and take because I think maybe if you take school too much, like if you really work every time, you're not gonna. Mm be productive at the end of the day you yeah. have to take breaks yeah. to be more productive after i i think also that um in those days we have some problem with uh productivity you know because there is a lot of um 
for example, during 2020, a lot of people were like just blame themselves to not be productive as they should be. Uh, so it's okay, you know, sometimes to to stop and uh, just relax, yeah. you know, take yeah, take relax. your time. It's we're just human beings after all. So yes. but I think sometimes society uh, tends to forget that that we are human. Yeah. <laughs> School really. is so much work. It mm -hmm. requires you to to do this, to do that, and sometimes they forgot. Like really. They're like, no, you have to do, to do this in for by Monday. You have to do this, and especially with online school, you're constantly on your screen, constantly on yeah. your on websites, and you're like, I can't do this anymore. Like yeah. I have to, you know, I have to go on a walk. I have to. Yeah, it's like you you didn't even live the, your life anymore. Yes, you live on a screen and yes, working. and um. I just want to add that, um, like, I feel for me, uh, 2020 was a turning point because even the slightest um, social effort, like, it was like, just talk to someone that I don't know is an effort, you know, yeah. and I constantly uh, wonder uh, about uh, my future, about my studies, about what I want to do. And I think it's okay to not have, to not, yes, to not have all these answers. And yeah, I just want to say that it's okay because I don't think uh, we, um, it seems normal to not have all these answers. And That's it. <laughs> what you said, Leslie, is a factor that creates anxiety. Mm -hmm. Like knowing what is going to happen in the future, not going, not thinking, I don't know, what you can do. Yes, because it, it can seem scary. And uh, scary. yes, it is. And but it's okay, you know, uh, because you are growing, you are changing constantly. So your tasted and what you want to do are changing too. So it's okay. And I know that some, Loeva told me that back in the days, you have to focus on the present moment. Mm. Yeah. Not yeah, was... worrying about the future because I, I know, maybe you can talk about um, some things that help you to overcome this anxiety thing, even if you know that is not something that is going to go right away. Because I know that you can do, like, you know what you can do, but you do yoga sometimes. So can you talk about that? Uh, yeah, me? Yeah, you. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, um, yeah, I do yoga um, like you you did. Uh, and we talked about uh, about this uh, some years ago. And, yeah. and maybe that's why I started uh, to do more yoga also. <laughs> and um, and he, it really helps me um, to, to breathe, to take a, a moment uh, out of the day and out of... Um, the struggles uh, of daily life and um, yeah sometimes I also do sports meditations and uh, those are super important tools uh, to avoid uh, this feeling uh, the feeling of being overwhelmed all the time and um, yeah but I, I think that um, when you experience anxiety and on the regular basis you also need to to find the real cause of it yeah um, not totally. just um, just hide it um, yeah. and um, and really uh, work on it it can be a lot of different things it can be uh, fear family of, issues yeah what family, family issues, issues. Or... yeah 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 um, can be something that you experienced some long long time ago and and, and yeah. that has um, repercussions uh, for right you now. now I completely um, agree what do you think? Um, um, I, I, I agree with, with um, what you, you said, Loeva, because uh, I think like people sometimes are just uh, doing instead of take a step back and, and understand why they are anxious and uh, how they can deal with that. Uh, 
just uh, take a moment. You know, it's I I saw a, a YouTube video uh, from I think it was Nathaniel Drew, a good channel by the way, and uh, he said mm -hmm. that um, anxiety we have to see anxiety as our friend and not as our enemy. Because if you can accept anxiety, you can move on. Yeah. So you can understand uh, and you can change uh, little things in your daily life. So I think you first you have to admit that you are anxious and to define your uh, why you yes your why and uh, how you can change it. So you can move on because I was completely the type of person who researches on YouTube, like mm -hmm. how to be less anxious in three yeah. steps. <laughs> but uh, yes, you have just to take a moment with yourself and think about that. I completely agree. But it's for some people, it is hard to maybe yes. accept that you have anxiety or stress. Yes. Yeah. So, and it's it's difficult. You you just want to reject it, I think. Yes. Yeah. Especially maybe when you talk about with it with your friend, like you're in some sometimes it's hard. It's hard to say, Oh yeah, I'm anxious about that. Mm. And sometimes mm. it's the little things. So people don't really understand why you are anxious about this. Or as you said, Loeva, so it may be something that happened in, in the past and now you really feel it mm. more mm. so people yeah. tend to make like i i can uh, think about uh, you know like if you are uh, if you if you had a toxic relationship uh, like you have the fear to leave the same again yeah so you have trust issues sometimes yes yeah. and this could anxiety too so yeah mm. you have to be very careful that's why you have to be very careful with how how you talk about anxiety with certain persons yes because not mm. everyone experienced it the same mm. so you have to yeah, very be very careful mm. what yeah. about you alex yeah. what about me like overcoming anxiety yes um as you said like sometimes i have to i have some troubles to <laughs> admit that i that i that i am anxious mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. In order to reject this, <laughs> I tend to do a lot of things like you you guys know. Yeah, you, you know that I do it all, all the time also. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm every every time I'm doing something. So I tend to, to do a lot of things to not think about the little thing that makes me stressed. So like I tend to do, I don't know, reading, mm -hmm. listening to music, work. And then if I take a step back, if I stop doing anything that I was doing, I'm going to stress. That is yeah. weird. I know that is weird. I don't know if you, any of you can re can relate, but um, I need that I I know that I that I have to. Hope oh, sorry. <laughs> to, to really take a step back and really focus on myself. That's why that is why um, I started yoga, because um, I'm a person mm. that if you feel good in your mind in your body, in how you, you know, take a, how you're breathing, everything is going to be all right. Like, um, I used to do um, acting classes and we used to do yoga and yeah. learn techniques, how to breathe. And I know that it really helped me. So guys, if I have any advice is please breathe and do yoga. <laughs> Yeah. That is weird. I know. Take it. No, like, really, it's, it's can breathe, but like really take a deep breath and mm. focus on the present moment, and everything is gonna be all right. And if it is not, it is not you know enough. You have to take. You have to you know talk with people, specialist, or your friends or your family, mm. if if you are comfortable with it. Of I course. have a quote for that. <laughs> from a French YouTuber, well, uh, it was not the French YouTuber, but he said it in one of um, his uh, latest video videos, and he it was um, 
at the end it's going to be okay and if it's not okay it's not the end yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I like it <laughs> can you repeat it again for our listeners please at the end it's going to be okay and if it's not okay it's, it's not the end yeah that is very that's it cool. beautiful <laughs> that's it really yes that's the truth because everybody you know uh, it's just a matter of time as always i always say that in every podcast but it is you know like yeah, time your... is your best friend for anything mm. mm-hmm. and yeah you have to, something to say Leslie? no <laughs> we're going to speak i was like okay <laughs> so yeah t- time is really your friend mm. you have to sometimes people are like oh no i don't have any i don't have time to do that you just have, have to take the time exactly you have to yeah. take the time exactly time to talk with your friend time to be with yourself and time to be with your family and it's not um how can i say that it's not because you're taking time for you that is yeah. not productive like yeah it's yeah. just it's just gonna have uh, some consequences on your work uh Like, it's just because some people uh, think that uh, it's, it's not really important and, you know, it's just after family work and, and so on. But you, if you want to be productive, you have to know yourself and control your thoughts. And, and listen to yourself also. Yes, when you, exactly. When you feel it, you, you must do something and and maybe if it it might include uh, stopping work and yes and prioritize uh, what you feel what exactly. would be your advice Louis, to our listeners um well um i i said it maybe uh, it was to try to to work out what what uh, out or find some you. find some activities that is going to make you less less stressed that was hard to say yeah <laughs> yeah yeah but also to to find your like what what causes your anxiety um and maybe maybe uh, talk about it with friends or mm. yeah talk mm. Riva, do you have anything to i don't know to say like a story or like anything like anything yes. about stress anxiety Um, don't be scared <laughs> I, know you, I know this is your first time uh, okay no one is going to judge you here no Our listeners won't judge you so it's a safe place you can go talk <laughs> well I, I don't know uh, I feel like uh, it's um, like more and more maybe people are experiencing it Uh, yes. lady. and um, and that's I think that's very important to to talk about it and and see that other people are living the same thing as you mm-hmm. um, like uh, sometime ago I I've, I've seen on Instagram um, like people that were talking about that accounts uh, on anxiety and and so it's really it was really important to me because I I don't Uh, no, uh, maybe, or people don't talk about it. Uh, people that experience the same thing as I do. Um, mm. So it was really, really important and change a lot. Yeah, I think um, like social media uh, can be like positive or negative for you. Anxiety, yeah. it depends uh, of um, who you are following. But um Like, I know, especially for young girls, it can be really stressful uh, if you follow the wrong pers- person, sorry. Um, so, but I think, yeah, it's a topic that is uh, more and more discussed on social media. And I'm really glad because, uh, you know, it's, yeah. it's a society issue. It's a common so. thing, yeah. Yeah. It's a common thing. <laughs> yeah. All right. If you, I don't know, you don't have anything else to say. No. <laughs> no. 
All right. So, guys, what you need to remember in this episode is time is your best friend. You have to take a step back sometime and you need to talk, talk and talk mm. again because and talk to the to the right person. <laughs> <laughs> If this is not the right person is going, you know. So, yeah, talk. And as you said, Leslie, if it is not okay, then it is not the end. Is it, is it the right thing? I don't even uh, remember. <laughs> you, you forgot the first part, which is at the end, it's going to be okay. And, and if it's not yeah. okay, it's not the end. Yeah. So you have to remember this. And I would like to thank Sloeva yeah, for being thank our you. guest thank you. <laughs> and talk because it is not an easy thing to do. You yes. Know? Yeah, especially you can... for your first time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I think it's really an important yes. subject for me, so that's also why. Thank uh, you for accepting our thank you. invitation. <laughs> And of course, we can. Okay, you you were about to clap, Leslie. <laughs> no, I just I just make it the sound, you know. Okay. <laughs> uh, guys, if you liked this talk. Please leave us a message on our Anchor website. And hopefully, Louiva is going to be back in yeah. other episodes. So please stay tuned. And yeah, we're going to wrap up. And thank yeah. you again, Louiva. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.